Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another video on my channel, and this again is a break from your regularly scheduled program. We're not doing SE100 today. It is a Friday, so that can only mean one thing, tech book review time. So this is the fourth one now, fourth Friday in a row where I've done a tech book review. Um, we've done a mixture of books from, from different people in the community. Uh, we've done sort of fundamental books, we've done a couple of mastering books, and we are back to the fundamental level book today. So um, this is a joint venture by, by two people in the community, uh, Aaron Guilmette, I do apologize if I pronounced that wrong, and also Steve Miles. So there's another Steve Miles book, so I'm, 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 I was very, very hopeful when I read this and I was not disappointed. So this is a topic that I have, I know, diddly squat about. So let, let me show you. This is um, Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals, the AI 900 exam guide. So this is an exam topic series book, um, all based around the exam. So there's no no beyond it at this time. So I think this is specifically more focused on the exam. We'll, we'll read it about in a second. But um, I know not nothing. I, I'm I, I've not jumped on the AI bandwagon, if I'm honest. Um, not that it is a bandwagon, but I've <laughs> I've not jumped on it. I've not jumped on it yet. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm a little bit of a rightly or wrongly, I'm a little bit of a tin foil hat person when it comes to AI right now. Um, very skeptical. Um, I think it's it can be potentially so powerful. Maybe I watch too much Terminator. I don't know. But anyway, the, <laughs> I'm very skeptical around it, and, and I've not. It's not something that I um, I want. I want to see how it's how it's used. Um, I'm, I, you know, when it, when it first kind of your know, chat GTP and stuff like that, you read a lot. I read a lot of negative things around how people are abusing it, and that's my issue with AI. That uh, it's not the actual uh, technology. It's it's us as human beings, and and where the you know I'm <laughs> pondering where the problem anything like this comes out or comes you know comes more apparent we tend to try and abuse it as human beings for, for whatever reason and that's my concern with it and always will be i suppose but this book um i very much enjoyed reading and i learned so much is the books that i've read up until now recently um obviously i did the az 900 one which which steve did uh, authored the the azure virtual desktop one and the the defender for you know defender for xdr book by by victor and rue I knew a lot of it already, and it was stuff that I was very well aware of, and from a technical level, was very comfortable with. I knew I knew nothing about this topic, so this I was very much um, a noob and a beginner, let's say. So let's see who's this book for first of all. So it's intended for individuals who are interested in gaining a basic understanding of AI and its applications in Azure, but who may not have extensive technical experience in the field. So I have a technical experience in the field, but not with AI. So, business stakeholders, decision makers, and technical professionals. And it assumes you have no knowledge of any machine learning or AI concept. You assume right with me, mate. Uh, <laughs> but it certainly helps if you're understanding some of the more complex topics. Fair enough. Fair enough. And again, just go through what it covers. We've got 12 chapters. Um, and there's also this, um, again, for you, I'm on the portal, so it's got these practice resources as well, if you want, but you won't have that on the actual physical book. So, let's get started. Let's just, again, very much in the same. Um, it's, it, Steve Miles is, is one of the authors, so I, I didn't expect anything different. I had very, very high hopes. And as we go along again, um, it talks a little bit about how you, know, how you can make the most out of the book and the certification. Very much introductory around identifying features and common AI workloads. Um, again, a lot of theory, which you'd expect. But then here we go. First off the bat, straight off the bat, we have some images breaking it down, explaining how you can evaluate text in, you know, Content Safety Studio. And as we go further down, we'll see a lot more theory, but we are starting to see them, you know, the authors break down the information because again, it's fundamental level. So it's going to be a lot of theory, but I also think there should be, um, you know, images and, and tables and whatnot to break it down. So very, very much an introductory uh, topic. But here, first of all, so we talked about knowledge check. It's called exam readiness drill. Um, in this, so again, it's it's a really interesting way of, of, of doing it. Um, so it's not it's not really a, a, a knowledge check; it's an exam. So the first three attempts, don't worry about the time limit. First aim is for at least five percent. So it tells you about uh, what the actual ready, exam readiness um, drills are. As we go down to the to the next chapter, we'll actually see that. Um, so again, chapter two about identifying guide identifying the guiding principles for responsible AI. Again, as we go down, very, very theoretical, a lot of text, which again, um, I, I like to break, I like it when books break it up. So I, again, I'll be honest, I, I struggled quite a bit reading just all the text, but this is a really, really cool part, which I really enjoyed, the exam readiness drill. 
So again, it's it's essentially um, uh, giving you getting you ready for the exam. So you you have to open the chapter review questions of this chapter, and you can do the following steps: go to that link, um, and then you scan the QR code, and you can log in, and then you get get all the registers. So again, it's such a cool way of of putting that. She's using AI again, isn't it? It's it's, it's really interesting. I thought it was a really nice twist. Uh, so I was very surprised to see that, and that was, that was a really good way of doing it. Um, so again, kudos to the authors. And Pat really is very, very interesting. This is a more recent book, so very interesting way of doing it. As we go down again, getting into more kind of describing and identifying machine learning techniques, I would have liked to have seen some more images. And again, we're seeing some here. Um, I, I don't know much about AI, so I don't know how easy it would have been to put in more images, but... Um, the, the, the chapters with more images and sort of breaking up the information into tables stuff like that I found easier to read. And this is one of those chapters, you know, using tables to, to kind of show, get the point across. Um, and again, we, I think it's like anything, when you do introductory chapters, the more you get into the book, the more I start to see it. So I've seen that with a few books now. Um, so again, very much breaking down the information, talking about identifying clustering machine learning scenarios um, and, you know, the sort of identifying features of sort of deep learning techniques. Um, and again, finally, we, we go down to the sort of exam readiness drill. So again, it's just some questions and you, the same way you, you, you use the QR code and you go to this thing. So let's actually try it. Let's do it. Let's do that. Um, copy that. Let's put it into a new thing there. Oh, it's weird. It's got a full stop in it. Excellent, then we can just um, start. And then we see you have all the questions. So amazing, really, really interesting way of uh, doing the questions. So you're not you're not just reading the book, you're actually doing them through the uh, through the poll, which I think is great. And the rest of the book follows a very, very similar pattern. You know, it's a very fundamental level book. It's 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 not as technical as so Steve obviously the AZ nine hundred. Now that was a lot more technical because it had labs in it. This doesn't include labs in it. For a fundamental book, I don't think that's important. So I'm not overly stressed about that. I'm not going to make that into a sort of a criticism. Um, the exam readiness stuff really kicks that, kicks it for me. I really do like how they've done that and how, how they've implemented that. Very interesting way of doing it. Um, so I'm not I'm not too fussed. And again, as, as we go along, they have broken it down and information down into different, you know, into more images and, and sort of explain how to get the point across. So you know, a view of auto ML process there. Very interesting way of explaining it. So I'm not overly fussed about there not being labs. It's a fundamental level. You don't have labs. Um, and again, as with the AZ900 book that Steve did, it did have that and beyond bit. So I expect, you know, so that kind of put the expectation there'd be more content and there was. This doesn't, so there isn't. Fair enough. It's not a criticism that there's no labs. There shouldn't be for an AZ900, uh, well, for, for a 900 level exam, right? Um, but yeah, again, a lot of, a lot of theory and... I, I'll be honest, I kind of struggled with a lot of it. Um, it's not a topic I know very well at all. Um, although there are some really interesting concepts, I, I need I need more. I'm a very image-focused person, so this is my own opinion, by the way. I need images, tables, stuff like that. And although they are started around, I would have liked to see more because, again, the information's I need to digest it somehow. So this is like a little demo lab that you can follow, which I thought was really good. They put that in there, even though you don't really need to. Um, there's no specific like in the, in the like I said in the Z nine hundred one there was specific section for labs but I don't think it's needed it. Um, so yeah, again, it, if if you're looking to start this this journey on AZ nine hundred uh, AI nine hundred, then I strongly rec I, I will recommend this book because it's a very good fundamental level book. Um, it does what it says on the tin. Um, I I personally I uh, even though I enjoyed reading it, I would have liked to have seen it broken up into a bit more broken down to you know with, with more images and stuff like that to help me digest the information a lot more writing a lot more text to read i struggle personally um so that's my first preference but a great job i'm going to put in the um the socials of both authors both both um steve and aaron so you can you can follow them i'm going to put a link into where you can buy this book if you are looking to get into uh, you know ai do the exam i strongly recommend it uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and continue to support, you know, hope everyone's continued to support my channel. We appreciate all the support. Mm. I'm going to keep on doing these Friday videos for the for the book reviews and uh, keep on promoting people because that's what I want to do. I want to promote people and all the hard work they do. So massive shout out to all the authors that I am, you know, ruining their books. You know, I'm, I'm, I appreciate everything they do for the community. 
Um, and, you know, keep on hitting that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 20k, so I'm, I'm almost there. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, goodbye.